Okay, so what we're going to do is um, just going to trim all of these. And, and with the big toes, mm -hmm. my, my challenge. Those are beautiful, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> my challenge is cutting them straight across. Okay. And I just, I can't orient, it, orient, orient myself to cut them straight across. Right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And you may need to get um, a nail cutter like we have. Mm hmm and um, because a regular flat one with a spring is never going to work on these. So you need to have one where you can cut along the shape of the nail. So using just the tips, hmm. and you cover it so it doesn't fly in your eyes, okay. or in your mouth if you're talking. Hmm. And as long as you follow the shape of it, then you can take out these nice big chunks. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And because its nail is dead, it doesn't hurt. So again, we're just following the shape of the nail using just the tips. Just the tip. Mm -hmm. And then right before you snap, you cover it. Okay. Let's do this big one, and then the rest of them should be pretty not painful to do. I never really liked my toenails. You're not alone. Okay, okay I need you to relax. There you go. I know, I scare everybody. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take these a little back and see if you do it a along the line of the nail, mm -hmm. along the shape of the nail, now it's straight across. Yeah, good. Okay. But still, with a drugstore little spring clipper, you're never going to be able to get this. So mm -hmm. I'm just taking off a little bit of the thickness here now. I'm going to leave those corners so that if they're straight across. All right, so let's start back with this foot here. Let me have you turn it just a little bit. Okay. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. The rest of these, I mean, they're pretty thick, but they're not long or ingrown or anything. Good. Sounds like good gum. It's bubble gum. I love bubble gum. <laughs> I'm quite sure I have two pieces in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come over the other foot. Now I see that you're walking with a cane. Mm -hmm. What's been going on with that? Uh, that's primarily because of the, um, the the arterial disease. So you get a lot of pain, rest pain and walking pain? Mainly walking pain. Okay. How far can you walk? Well. Without having to stop. Without having to stop? Mm hmm I can walk for maybe 10 minutes without having to stop. Okay. But I stop and take a little break and then walk on. You get cramps in the leg? Um, mainly pain. Okay. It's really interesting because I have always been a walker, so not to be able to walk is kind of... Mm -hmm. real, feels like a real punch, yeah. Well, and that's the reason to get in and work with the, your vascular surgeon. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the vibration? Yeah. You need me to take a break. Just let me know. No, it's not unpleasant, it's just simple. Yeah. Oops. clean some of the stuff out yep from under here after a lot of dry dead skin there's a there's a series on the justice channel called um, Alaskan Troopers uh-huh and they have uh, some of the episodes has to do with the the wild the wildlife stuff that they that they do with the, the moose and the bear and Bears and stuff. It's just, it's a beautiful series. Um, I haven't seen it. Well, it's on the Justice Network. I would imagine that you have not seen it. The Justice Network. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Yeah, have you seen it? Yeah, I like that show. <laughs> you like you like the Alaskan Troopers? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's really good. It's interesting. It's interesting. And the troopers are really kind, mm -hmm. and I really do like that. And they come from all over, too, mm -hmm. just to be a part of the Alaskan patrol. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Now, even though you have good sensation, in your feet. Mm -hmm. Now is the time that you want to start getting into the habit of checking your feet visually every night before you go to bed. Okay. Because even in the very beginnings of even in the very beginnings of um, starting to lose the sensation in your feet, yeah. and it's not a given that that's going to happen, but you want to start getting into the habit of looking because you may not feel if there's a problem. Okay. And um, not walking around the house barefoot. The last time I did that, I broke my toe, so. Okay. I'm not going to do that.
Okay. Those feel pretty comfortable? Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. And how about that? Yep. Okay. I should tell you that I have stroke too. Okay. So that you'll know. Where's your socks? Um, They're right there. Oh. Um, yeah, see these are all the things we needed on your medical history form, so. Okay. When was your stroke? Oh, Jesus. Uh, June. Of this year? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I was re-hospitalized in um, August because they thought I had another one. Oh. So is that part of the reason you're using the cane too? The stroke? No. Okay. That's just the pain. All right. So I think we're good. That's it.